Intelligence. Does it matter how smart you are when you're studying math? I think it does, and I say this only because I've seen that certain people can actually learn certain subjects faster than other people. Um, when I was in statistical theory, I remember you know sitting next to uh, these girls. I didn't know I didn't know who they were, but I remember sitting next to them and thinking, "Well, oh, who are these girls?" You know, I've never seen them before in my other math classes. There was like four or five of them. They were all friends. And they were all getting hundreds. And I was like, oh my God, like what is wrong with me? I'm a math major, you know, I've never seen them. They're getting hundreds. And they were getting back their tests. I would, I would see it, it would say 100%, good work. I'm like, what? I get it back, 74. I'm like, oh, what is going on here? You know, I'm an advanced calculus. I should be able to get 100 on a statistical theory test. I think they just had an easier time with the subject. Did they work harder than me? Maybe, I have a hard time believing that because you know, I, I worked, so hard, I'm not saying I work harder than other people, but it felt like I did, it felt like I was always studying. So maybe they had better study habits, maybe they had a better background. So maybe it's not all about intelligence, but I think it does matter to some extent. As in this case, maybe, maybe they were just better at learning statistics than I was. Maybe they were just naturally better at that subject. I do think some people are naturally better at certain things. When I was in combinatorics, which is the theory of counting, um, there was a bunch of people who had a really, really easy time with the counting problems and the probability questions. I did not. Uh, when I was in graph theory, which was also part of that course, it was actually called combinatorics and graph theory, same thing. We had a bunch of computer science majors in the class and they all knew, like, oh yeah, it's the Peterson graph. I'm like, what's the Peterson graph? What's going on? I struggled, I felt, I felt dumb. So it's okay, you know, I was able to succeed in other math subjects, complex variables, I was a rock star. Um, abstract algebra, oh, I squashed that class. I mean, I love that class. I was like, what's wrong with everyone else? I love this. So if you're struggling in one math class, it's not because you're dumb. It's just because some people are better at certain things than other people. Some people can sing, you know, they can sing songs, they become famous, or maybe they don't. Some people can play guitar. I play guitar and I sing, and you know what? I'm terrible at both. So I think intelligence is the same way. Intelligence lets you learn certain things faster than other things. Some people are better at certain things than other people, but that doesn't mean you can give up. And you definitely should not give up on math. So when you're struggling with a certain math subject, keep that in mind, right? All math is different. You will be better at some math than other maths. So don't give up and keep studying math. Good luck.